We're joined here by TV Tommy Ivo, a big part of Firebird Raceway in the early years when we started back in 1968. What do you remember of Firebird Raceway, Tommy? Well, for one thing, it was one of the nicest tracks that we got to race in. And that, of course, is always a, a plum on the cake. <laughs> you know? But we had so much fun up there. The thing I remember the most about it is the river that runs downtown. And we used to all get on inner tubes and ride down the, wind, down the river there, you know. But it, the different, I had so many different cars. Like first one motor, two motors, four motors, uh, funny cars sitting in front and back in jet cars. It was just great. And it was always such a pleasure to go up there because the people were so nice. It's just a good home spring town. And it's, I couldn't, I'd love to go back and do it again. It was so much fun. But I'll never forget, you were the first jet dragster to run down our quarter mile, 1978 at a Fox Hunt, as I remember. Dad telling me the story, he said it just scared him beyond belief. But it was a wide array of different cars that you raced at our track over the years. And I just want to say thanks for being a part of history. Uh, over 52 years now of racing at Firebird. Well, thank you so much. Let me give you one little story before we quit here with the jet car. I used to take, and I'd put it in afterburner without the motor just idling, and when I'd hit the starter, it'd throw a ball of fire about 50 foot out the back of it. And at night, I'd look up in the stands the first time that I did it, and it was all dark up there. The second time I did it, it looked like there were 5,000 Cheshire cats up there because everybody was smiling and the light bounced off of their teeth. Oh, what fun, what fun. <laughs> it's incredible. Thank you for the memories. Thank you, sir. You bet. That was good.